Hola, como estas? Yo soy Rush Perez. Introducing Dr. Injactory Damages. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great. Hmm. There are one out of every 10 New Yorkers mm -hmm. threw away dishes instead of washing it. Ah. That's it. They, they said, no, we can't deal with this. Ah. Imagine that. It's possible. No wonder when you look at our trash can, you see a lot of people going there to find dishes. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, look at the picture. I'm not making it up. Yeah, that's how it is. That's the greatest city in the world. People yes. go to the trash to eat. Mm. That's New York City. Mm. Now, Republicans, they wish they were like New Yorkers. Uh -huh. So they can throw away that dish called Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys following the U.S. Uh, presidential oh, election yes, campaign? Yes, yes, no. Since that Muslim father hmm. who lost his son in Iraq in 2004, Can't since the man came out and gave it to Donald Trump, yes. Donald Trump has gone cuckoo. <laughs> full time, full time. You know, full time. Wow. Now, listen, remember what the man said. Watch. You have sacrificed nothing and no one we cannot solve, we cannot solve our problems by building walls. Ah. <laughs> I said, oops, oops. This is what they call frontal put down. Yes. Frontal, the, Donald Trump now is fighting everyone. Mm -hmm. He's fighting the media, mm -hmm. fighting his party, mm -hmm. even crying babies. Mm -hmm. Look, watch, watch. I love babies. I hear that baby crying. I like it. I like it. Actually, I was only kidding. You can get the baby out of here. That's all right. Don't worry. I, I think she really believed me that I love having a baby crying while I'm speaking. Ah, evil Korea. I know, it's official. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump is crazy. Mm -hmm. Psychologists are going through medical books. They are opening it, <laughs> trying to find out the kind of personality Ooh, disorder this man has. Lie. Now, now, the best diagnosis so far is that he's a little crazy. <laughs> but, but remember what they said, that being a little crazy is like being a little pregnant. It, it will go worse. It's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. <laughs> now, <laughs> talking about erratic, unpredictable, and unusual animals. Mm -hmm. A seven-year-old girl died in Morocco Zoo. Sad. After being hit by a stone thrown by an elephant. Oh. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not, it's on BBC, I'm not making it up. Ah. The stone passed the fence mm -hmm. that separated the animal from visitors uh -huh. and landed on the girl. Oh. Very sad. In a, statement, sad. in a statement, the zoo, they said, mm -hmm. this kind of accident is rare, unpredictable, and unusual. Mm. Very unusual. Now, now, let this be a metaphor to you Americans. Yes. You all are getting too close to that animal. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, the, you are getting too close. He, the stone he will throw will kill somebody. Ah, <laughs> now, talking about unusual news. Mm -hmm. Since I reported to all of you the jump in price of tomatoes in Nigeria, mm. yes. I want to also acknowledge that the price has fallen. The drop. Yeah, it dropped. <laughs> it has gone from 2,000 naira a basket to 800 yeah, naira. naira. Yes. And, 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 and people are telling people, 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 yeah, people, people say to me, People say that anything that goes up in Nigeria doesn't come yes, down. No. Yeah. It came down. Yes, no. Now, yeah. everything they, it comes out except for a possible ex exception. Mm -hmm. uh, the Brazilian hair. <laughs> no, that one has not come down. No, ah. it's, it's still up. You know. <laughs> I know, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we can, no, talk, about, we can no. talk about that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So that one has remained up, mm -hmm. but, but there's hope. The price will fall as soon as our big men return from the Olympics. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they, are, they are going to cut some girls' hair and then bring it home. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Olympics is on. Yes. And African countries hope to shine this time. Yes. 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 Like Nigeria. Uh, but that is if they got there on time. <laughs> that if they did not get stranded. Stop, stop. Some of them are stranded on the way. You know, they're using the. They are, they are coming by canoe or something. They are on the way. No. That was the Nigerian team, the mm. under 23 teams, stranded mm. in Atlanta. On their way to Brazil, you know. And now here is the the clown. Sorry, I mean the comrade, <laughs> the comrade who called himself. Uh, he's called the minister. Uh, it's false, yeah, or something yes. like that. Yes. Here is what he said about that. Watch. Uh, our under 23 team suffering in United States of Nigeria. Who took them there? What are they for? 
because they are under 23 and they went to U.S. and uh, they are having problems. Does that become our business? Belong. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah. What, what business do they have in Atlanta? Why did they go there? Are you sure? Are you sure this is not one of those people that yeah. personality yeah. disorder? Doctor, you. It's not true. Yeah, the man was calling America United States of Nigeria. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I understand the bread that he's wearing, but yes. you the know, red one. keep keep yeah keep this keep thing away before thing before you come to press conferences. Good. Now, <laughs> now these are the wonderful people who run the affairs of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still, still, our boys defeated Japan despite getting to Rio. <laughs> They came in few hours before the game, and, and still, and still, they, they defeated the team. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you bet that our minister for sport, that man will soon be at the Olympics. He's going. Yes. He's going. Yes. You know. Maybe he's going. He will be stranded too in Atlanta. He will be in the best hotel there. He was going, but the person who is not going is Nigeria's president. Mm. Buhari is not going. No, yes. they banned him from going abroad. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah, they banned him. Enough is enough. But 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 he's already a winner, mm -hmm. even without going to the Olympics. His wife. Took on the wellers. Yes. Challenged them and they she won. Mm. Did you know the story? Yes, ma'am. If you remember, yeah. The wellers. There has the been this, this the rumor kids. that there are one Aisha Buhari was involved in money laundering Sana. scandal in the, the US. Of and people are saying that it's Buhari's wife. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now it's like so many rumors out here. Mm. Like this one that says that Tomato Joss is married to Color the War. And yeah. it's, all, it's all a rumor. It's all a rumor. Now, the Aisha, Aisha Buhari story was just a rumor until governor of a kitty state. Mm. Ayo Fayoshe stated that it was a fact. Mm. Now, on the strength of Fayoshe's accusation, there was this demand by the wellers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this one and this one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, they were demanding that Aisha Buhari, the wife of the president, must come to America yes. to prove that she wasn't wanted in America. Yes, now. Yes. Guess what? Mm -hmm. She landed. Oh, oh, yeah. was Aisha yeah. She landed in America. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but um, <laughs> when the video surfaced, these wellers, they were looking at it, they were looking at it, and they said, no, 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 it cannot be America. Yes. They said, there are no white people in this picture. <laughs> is it United States of Nigeria? No, that, no is it, uh, that was it, this is like United States of Nigeria or Congo. <laughs> and then, Aisha showed up at the American Institute of Peace. Mm. And they saw white people and they said, okay, yeah, all right. Okay, okay. All right. That may be true. That That's may be true. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. While everyone was waiting for Ayo Fayoshe to react, mm. he was silent for 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours. Doctor, there's Pim. no money. No money. Pim. <laughs> yeah, the money has been freed. Now, now, now we, we asked and they said he was busy checking to see if the same people, these NASA people who mm. staged that moon in London, Mm -hmm. in the studio in Houston, if they were the ones that staged Aisha Buhari's landing in America. <laughs> he was opening the books, looking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now, when we didn't hear from him, I sent my crack reporter, Sekiti, to mm -hmm. go and find the man. Yeah. Yes, what? Are you? Yeah. I said, go and find, this is, yes. what, this is what they found, watch. But I wake up and wrong. Just get ready for work, 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 work. You see me, I'll be work, 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 work. You see me, do me, da, da, da. <laughs> The one is da dancing away his oh, life. So you know, I, I, over. Like. Oh, wow. Now, talking about great news. Last week, we celebrated the Redeemed Christian Church. They ordained 8,151 deacons. Mm. Eight, listen to this, 8,151 deacons. Wow. Last year, the church ordained 9,170 deacons. Mm. Now, that's a shortfall of 1,019. Still, that, quite impressive. Are you not impressed? Yes. In the last 10 years, the church must have ordained over 100,000 deacons. Wow. And the estimate is that in the next 10 years, it will be 200,000 200, deacons. What? what? And most of these, most of these deacons will move on to become franchise owners. Mm. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I mean, I mean pastors. Yeah. I mean, they will, they will become pastors. Yeah, you go from deacon to pastor. Yeah, they will become pastors. So you can as well give up hope hey. that a street in your hometown mm -hmm. will escape having a redeemed church on it. Ah. Forget about it. With 200,000 deacons everywhere. Forget it. I mean, it's going to be like, like Starbucks on every yeah. street. That's what it is. Yeah. And guess what? One day, they promised me, yeah. instead of producing 10,000 deacons a year, uh -huh. the redeemed church university will start producing 10,000 doctors a year. Ah. Wouldn't 
gotta be something. You know. Be doctor, damage doctors. <laughs> Ten thousand doctors a year. Uh, that's if doctors are more important than victims. I don't know for Nigerians. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. The same week that we were celebrating this achievement, mm -hmm. Pastor Adeboye mm -hmm. pooped on the pulpit. Ooh, yeah. Yes, I power. said it. Okay, 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 people, okay. It's, it's, it's a proverb, it's a proverb. It's, a, it's only a, it's a proverb. It's, mm. I don't mean that he pooped, no, a proverb. Pastor Adeboye, huh? the daddy geo of oh, Redeemed Christian Church, my daddy. gave young people like you, 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 mm -hmm. you, great advice last week. Yes. But like all the advice, good advice, like the one I give out every year, instead of people to embrace him and thank him, yes, they started attacking him. Uh -huh. now, the man said, the man said that you should not marry any girl that cannot pray for one hour. Wait, Two hours. One Reasons. hour. At least one hour. Any girl who cannot pray for one hour non-stop, don't marry her. I know, I know, I know. I didn't know that the longer the prayer, mm -hmm. the more likely that you'll be answered. <laughs> you know, I bet you Jesus did not know this. Mm -hmm. When he taught his disciples, that 20 second uh, prayer called, um, what is it? No, our Lord's, our Lord's yeah. Prayer. Yeah. Poor Jesus. So old school, you know? Now, that was not all. If that was all, then there's no problem. But the man of God also said that men should not marry women who could not cook. Don't marry a girl who cannot cook. Oh, oh yeah. Are you, I, I couldn't believe it. I listened hard. Maybe I missed it, you know? I beg, did, uh, did he say anything about those who are already married to women who could not cook? Did he say anything? Because, no, 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 wait, wait, uh, wait, this has nothing to, this has nothing to do with Mamudoka. Uh, I'm just, I'm just saying, has, Mamudoka is an excellent cook. Anyway, anyway, but, 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 can we quote Adeboye on this? Mm-hmm. As a reason for divorce. Do you yes. think, can we do that? <laughs> okay, okay, it's forget about, okay, no, no, forget about divorce. You know, what about, divorce. could it be a reason for you to marry another wife? Ah. I know, my man, I know, you got me with <laughs> that. You. you are with me, I understand. I know, I know what you want. Now, earlier, the man of God took mm. issues with pastors who grow beard. Mm. He said that they look like people who just graduated from Al-Qaeda training camp. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. We, we, have, we have moved on. We have moved on. You know, before we used to ask this question, mm -hmm. what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. Now, what we, well, the question we ask is, how would Jesus groom himself in yeah. today's world? Wow. <laughs> and Adebo, you ask, answer that question. You know? Now, this is what happens when you remain on the job long after you pass your retirement age. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's now, it. a lot of people watching what Pastor Adebo said, Forgot about that, um, that law that says, do not touch my anointed. Mm. And they took issue with the man of God. Mm. Oh, yeah. I said, they touched the anointed in more ways than one. Mm. Now, some were against, some were in support. This musician, what's his name? Banky W. You know what hey. Yeah. He responded. Banky Williams. He was responded to Pastor Deboy. He said, and I quote, my wife doesn't need to know how to cook. Hey! hey. You see, you see, you see, <laughs> this is just another unmarried man talking yada, 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 yada. Yes. The next time you see him, you see, that's how people end up at with on edible catering. <laughs> yeah, that's how, this is it. Before you, next story you hear is that he's on, on with, uh, you know, edible catering. Nonsense. Now, <laughs> talking about people breaking ranks. Mm. Father Mbaka, you know that man? Yes. yes. A former staunch supporter of President Buhari. Mm. He has decamped. What? Oh yeah, he decamped. Really? Yeah. After going into hiding, or should I say isolation, mm. the Enugu-based man of God emerged last week mm. to attack the president. Watch. The president should please look around himself and not those who are advising him and those who are telling him that there's no trouble. The president should know that there's trouble. And if things continue like this, in the next election, nobody will vote for him. Ah. I know, I know. I blame the Catholic Church in Enugu. I blame them. How dare you let the man of God go hungry? Mm -hmm. The man was hungry and then he discovered, oh, people are hungry in Nigeria. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Give him food. You refused. By the way, by the way, did Mbaka say that Nigerians may not vote for Buhari? Yes, he said that. He didn't say that they will not. May not. Mm. Is that man a newspaper editor or a man of God? <laughs> <laughs> Which 
one is me. <laughs> Are we debating is that? A is, there, is there any debate? Any? What's, what's going on? Is a soothsayer. <laughs> now, a quick question that will be a lot easier for you to answer. Mm -hmm. If the Senate President, Saraki, is heading to jail, mm -hmm. and the Speaker of the House of Rep, uh, Dogara, mm -hmm. is also heading to jail, uh -huh. who is next in line of succession? Oh. Is that Dino? <laughs> Now, if, if, you, if you have the answer, send it to keepingitreal at gmail.com. Ah, <laughs> Don't send it to me. Just send it to her. <laughs> now, I'm, 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 I'm saying this because last week, Sahara Reporters published a picture of a house in Abuja built by the Speaker of the House of Rep mm. in six months of being what? speaker. Oh, yeah. What? And I have been running this medical practice for five years. Yes. And I have, nothing, I have nothing to show Post for it. Up. I have nothing to show for it. This man built a house mm. in six Six months. Wow. Now, still on budget padding. You know they padded the budget. Yes, yes, yes. And this Jubrain mm -hmm. announced last week mm -hmm. that he had submitted a petition. Yes. Against uh, the Dugan. speaker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Against he called him corrupt speaker. <laughs> <laughs> To the EFCC, he said he submitted it to the EFCC, uh -huh. ICPC, uh -huh. IMF, uh -huh. OPC, YEC, everywhere. And the police as well. I said, great job, my man. Ah. Great job. Ah. There is one more thing that he needed he to submit. He forgot to submit, so, you know, submit his own resignation letter. <laughs> <laughs> he should. Yeah, he should. Now, now, APC, they came out and banned the man. Say, mm. you, you are running your mouth too much. Too much. We don't want you, you to say anything. Secrets. Don't speak again. Yes. <laughs> they, 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 they are just covering the crime. Yes. Yeah. Ban him from talking to the press. Mm -hmm. You know what he did? He resorted to tweeting pictures of him and his wife. <laughs> These are, passenger, right? these are clowns. <laughs> Our right? must be smiling. Ah. Now, meanwhile, Representative Lawa Guma mm -hmm. came on TV to uh -huh. say this. Uh -huh. Watch. Every year they party. Since 2011, when I came, there was no year that there was no party. But mind you, I'm not supporting Honorable Jibrin. I'm supporting the allegations. Ah. He was open. He was saying how we pad budgets every year. Yes. He didn't hide it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So the next question is this. How do we... How, no, let me ask him. How do you want us to punish you and your gang? <laughs> no, 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 tell us. You can't just come and say, this is what you guys do. How do you want us to punish you and your gang? <laughs> there should be a process to report. Tell us, tell us. Yeah. No, that's not enough. We have to punish him. Yes. Now, the speaker of the, of the house had an, a closed-door emergency meeting with the president. Mm. Oh, they summoned him to Asoro. Yes, yes, yes. When he emerged, he said this to the press. Watch. I studied law. I've been a legislator. All this period, I've never had the word padding being an offense under any law. Are you worried I wouldn't about know. Worried? Why should I be worried? So, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> I'm not worried about anything. <laughs> terrible country. The man yeah. said that he's not going to resign. Mm. And it was clear. He said because padding the budget is not the same thing as corruption. But that's forgery. <laughs> mm. You know, I mean, I mean, that he channeled billions of naira to his personal farm is not crime. Mm. That he built a mansion in six months is not crime. Mm -hmm. What? What is this? What is crime? crime. I don't know. I don't crime know. Is what is crime? Forgery. You see, the moment Jonathan said that stealing is not corruption, yes. it became clear that padding the budget cannot be, cannot be a crime. Yeah. It's, it's sequential. No, That's how no, we are moving. Sequential. No. For two is a crime. <laughs> now, in real corruption news, mm. Switzerland is returning Sania Bacha's $300 million loot. Hey. Yes, this is another one. The last one they gave to Ngozi Okonji while uh, <laughs> Jonathan said, give it to me. Jonathan got it. Jonathan gave it to Datsuki and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Let's hope this one we find. We can track. And he grew, and he grew we can track this one. Let's hope. He grew like a <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> and guess what? We haven't found the ones, uh, Abacha's loot. We haven't found the ones in Panama and Monaco. We have, <laughs> this is the one that Switzerland uh -huh. is giving us. You know, I said it so that you know. That it's not just a lesser metal mm -hmm. and omission, right? Uh -huh. That are refunding money. Uh -huh. Abacha is still refunding money. Mm -hmm. The yes, question sir. now is when will IDB and Obasan just start refunding money? <laughs> I mean, if Abacha already is refunding money every every three years, he will send us some money. When will Abdul IBB Abdul and Abdul Salam and all of them, when do they start refunding money? Uh -huh. 
And when they enter grave. <laughs> this is the segment we call Secret Surf. Picture! So after last week's closed door meeting between President Buhari and former President Obasanjo, mm -hmm. this week, former President Goodluck Jonathan mm. went for his own closed door meeting. Hey! I know, I know. So <laughs> yeah, he, he had to go. No. So <laughs> after the meeting, they had this traditional handshake. Mm -hmm. You know, here is what my crack reporters overheard. You know, because my crack reporters, they were there mm -hmm. listening. They couldn't go close. They overheard one of them saying, the good thing about having a closed door meeting with you is that there is no chance that you will write a book. Mm. <laughs> you know? Now, now the audio was not very clear. We couldn't say which of them said this. Mm -hmm. It could be any of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could be any of them. It could be any of them. It could be Jonathan, it could be Buhari. We don't know who, but you know, it could be any of them. <laughs> now, you know what I miss? I miss that man, good Lord Jonathan. Mm. I miss him. Yes. When he was in power, it wasn't this boring. Mm. You doubt me? Now, after that meeting with Buhari, he came out and spoke to the press. Oh, what a delight. Uh, what? Of course, you asked why I came to see Mr. President today. Uh, one key thing is that having been a head of a government, a former president, you become a state property. That is the privilege you have. <laughs> did, did, did you hear what the man said? That he's government property. Mm. <laughs> the man is government property. Yes. I miss, I miss this guy. Yeah. Listen to him. Listen more to him. I've been coming, but most cases we used to meet in the night. That's why you don't see me. Uh, he said that he comes, uh, he comes to the Astro Rock at night. Uh, you know, you know, the fresh words. You cannot, you cannot make things up like this. You know, uh, those were the days. You know, when every day is an entertainment day for us, uh, and also a stealing day <laughs> for, for Jonathan and his people. You know. The man is a government property. Bring back corruption! Yeah. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Dogara bribes representative members with $25,000 to support him. Each? Yeah, uh, this is Jibrin is saying $25,000 each. What? I said, what an insult. Are they discussing what, what an insult. Foreign currency. That is not even up to the minimum wage of people in the House of Rep. Mm. House of, you know, why their name? They're called House of Representatives. Mm. Representatives. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not up to their minimum wage. So mm. we, are not, we are not done insult us mm. by telling us he gave them $25,000. Uh, wow. what, what is $25,000? So they can fine. build a mansion in six months. Huh. And you're talking about $25,000. Yes. What is that? Yes. Nonsense. <laughs> Budget padding. APC moves to save Dogara. Mm. Meets the speaker and Jubrain. This is punch reporting. What? They called a meeting of the two of them and they said we have to meet and talk. Mm. This is this is from they called it from page four one nine of the PDP handbook. You know the PDP handbook. <laughs> Under the caption family matters. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how the APC. They said you know what we know we can get a solution. Let's go to that book uh, PDP handbook. <laughs> Nonsense. Amechi Okonji Wala begged me not to say the country is broke. What? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, 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 okay. So, so, uh, can, can you, Amichi, Amichi, I'm talking come to you. Here, I'm talking to you. Can you tell us who is begging you now? <laughs> and, and what they do not want you to tell us? <laughs> no, tell us. We don't want you to wait until next five years. Who is begging you now? Are they telling you anything about, anything about that certificate? Did they, did they, did they tell you anything about that certificate? <laughs> yeah? Do you know anything and they told you not to say? Uh, <laughs> Nonsense. No. <laughs> The change we promised Nigerians is now manifesting around us, mm. says Lai Mohammed. Did you, did you hear that? No. He came out with the mouth that he uses to eat yam and cassava <laughs> to say that the change is, is manifesting around us. Oh, now, I know, I, know, I, know, I know why people were attacking the Honorable Minister. The man is right. When he says us, he means a rock type. Not riffraff like you and me. <laughs> he wasn't talking about you and me. You, know, you, you have to understand it. That's the problem. People don't understand things. They start typing and sending tweets everywhere. Mm. The man was talking about people, as a rock type, not riffraff like you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm me. <laughs> Former Governor Gwenga Daniel mm. stepped down for the ahead of 
PDP National Convention. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Daniel said, he said, you know, I'm, I'm stepping down. It's like, it's like Mahida stepping down for Afro Kandi. <laughs> it gets on your Can you put up the picture of uh, Mahida? No, 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 Afro Kandi. No, no, no. Forget about it. Kids are watching. <laughs> we can't put up. No, no, no. Leave, leave. <laughs> Sasha said, don't do that. What's wrong with you? Stop, stop, stop. Anyway, I can't break home that never existed, mm. says Caroline Danjuma's husband's side chick. What? Wait, wait, wait. This is the side chick of Caroline Danjuma's husband. Mm. Yeah. She's saying that I cannot break homes that did not exist in the mm. first instance. Hey. True. Interesting. True I wonder how she knew that the home never existed mm. with all the tall fence and big gates. Mm. By the way, by the way, this side chick of a thing, how do I get one? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. <laughs> it's time for your email. Uh, who, who is this? Wait, wait, wait. You are not Timothy Joss. I'm not, no. And you are not, what's her name last week? Uh, Sushi. Fula did the no, 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 you are not. Who, who is, where are you from? I'm from here. I was sent to you. The agency. <laughs> the agency sent you? Yeah. What happened to Tomato Josh? She was on sabbatical. She needed a rest. And, <laughs> and I wasn't told. I thought you got the email, no? So, and your name is what? Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> I'm finished. My career is finished. Pineapple. So did they train you on how to do this? Yeah. Okay, do you have emails? I have the emails. Okay, let's share them. Okay. Our first email is from Doyen. Doyen. Oh, wait, wait, Doyen. That's my friend. You know him well? Yeah, I know him very well. It's my Hi, Doyen. Yeah, yeah. Huh. We, he I right. know him from a long time ago. Okay, what did he say? He says, mm -hmm. President Buhari. Uh, wait, wait. He didn't say hello to me. Hey, I'm doctor. sure he meant it. It's implied. Okay, okay. I will I, I take it. Go ahead. President Buhari, sir, you made a big mistake at the beginning of your presidency by not canceling the currency notes of the 500 and the 1,000 Naira. Oh, that's a good point. He want, Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. If this was done, most of the thieves and looters would have been cobbleless and you would have made them crying all over the places. Uh, the thieves that buried money in their succoes would be at loss. <laughs> what do you say to that? Ah, that's a good point, my friend. I, I like what you suggested, you know, but it's been tried in other countries before. With Naira at 400 Naira to one dollar. Don't you know that if you abolish 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes, what will happen is that when people want to buy toilet roll, they, they now have to carry bundles of Naira to go and buy it. And they will say, <laughs> no, 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 we better use the Naira to wipe our behind. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of going carrying all these notes to go and buy ordinary uh, toilet roll, it, um, you know. Anyway, so good, good idea, but they should have done something about the people that stole our money. You know, they wanted to change the money. I had that. They wanted to change the money, but something happened. Next. Okay, our second email is from Amadou Dako oh, from Lagos. Oh, Amadou, yeah, yeah, we use it. Suya. You know Suya? No. You, you, you look like Suya. You know what? We'll, I will show you Suya. Are you coming back again next time? We'll see. We'll talk. We'll talk, like talk after, to the this, agency? after this. After uh, this. Forget the agency. Mm -hmm. We can hire you directly. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, Amadou writes Yes. Why are you so abomatic in uh -huh. your analysis uh -huh. of the desugation uh -huh. of Boko Haram's funds to the extent? that Dambazo is being fingered for a chicken of 1 billion naira monthly. Your astrological methodology of algebraic equations should avoid money for uniforms and other allowances stolen from serving and disengaged soldiers. I beg leave Mata Jerry. Hey. The president is surrounded by saints only. Wow. Uh, uh, Amadou, was he speaking English? That was what, a lot of words. What, yeah. I mean, listen, Amadou, Amadou, let me tell you, let me tell you. The encryption on my frontal lobe is so small to understand the equilibrium of your dialectics osmosis. Hey, yes! Whoa. Be, but, but, but be it as it may, I think the sense around the president are beyond understanding. <laughs> uh, did we communicate? I think so. 
he, 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 I know his language. You know, I'm just trying to tell him. Your doctor, I was, I was brought up in. Yeah, yeah. I was. I, I can speak all these languages. Even the one that Keeping Ariel speaks. Hey, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Next. Our third email is from a Kano student in Turkey. He doesn't Ooh. want his name used. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of students in that country. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was he involved in the coup? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm writing on behalf of all Kano State scholarship students. Good guy. Studying abroad, especially in Gaziantep, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Some kilometers to Aleppo, Syria, and Iraq. Wow. That's Ooh. a very key point in the world. Right. Yeah, if you're there, you are, you know, you're important. important. You're doing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Living without residence permit uh -huh. and 11 months without feeding allowance. What? It was posted on APC TV news on Facebook that we have been paid and we have received treat message from the official that we should not protest. Most of us had let out our phones and laptops to survive. Wow. We want you to please read it and post it. Maybe it would get to a kindly heart. Regards to Tomato Joss, we love her summer dressing. Wow. Hey. Uh, thank you, my friend. Um, um, we, we, we hope that the authorities in Canada they are watching. I know they watch. They understand me, they watch. Canada State Governor, listen to me, please. Look into this matter. Eh? But if you fail to do so, we may have to send our car reporters to come and drop this email for you mm -hmm. to, to read. And it's never good when they come. It's never a good thing. You don't want that. Anyway, so um, do, look into this matter. How could you people send people abroad to go and study and leave them there? No payment of their allowances. What do you want them to do? Eh? Giving Nigeria a bad name. I warned you. That's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at drdamages. Do you know our thing? We have that the other thing where they post pictures. Do you know what it's called? Instagram. Instagram. Do you know the Instagram? I do. <laughs> okay. Snapchat. So, uh, oh, we, we, are we on Snapchat? We can be. Wow, that's good. You, you look like you are updated or updated uh, to not adjust. To not adjust is kind of, anyway, let's not talk about that. <laughs> now, here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419. Of the book tomorrow is pregnant by ethel barrymore do you know the book no ah, i didn't listen and he says the best time to make friends is before you need them mm. yeah yeah mm. this is this is for that, you that's what's done before you need them that's when you need to make friends that is deep. until next week i'm dr damages i diagnose you, you heal yourself Woo! So, um, oh. how much are they paying you? Because we want to see if we can hire you full time. Because too much just is kind of getting there, you know. Oh. We are about to retire her. Huh? What, what do you <laughs> they haven't paid me they anything. They didn't tell you how much. Oh, yeah. what? What? This is good. This is good. We can actually save money and, you know, she No, makes... no, no. If I work for you, you'll pay me, yeah? Like, that'll No, we'll pay, we pay you. Okay. But, but, but too much just is charging us too much money, you okay. know. Yeah, we can pay you, you know. You know. Yeah, you don't have to tell wage. her. Yeah, I know, no. We can let her go be sick for more weeks and... No! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you'll be here next week because we need we need people, you know? We need to spice it up. To not adjust this kind of... Hmm. Anyway. Let's... I like her. You like her? I do. I know. We are, we are on camera, that's why. <laughs> <laughs>